Hey guys, it's John here with Greenfish Nation. Guys, a lot of times I get asked, how do I control the power on my trolling motor on my kayak? Well, let me explain. I use a PWM, I custom built myself, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right here today on Greenfish Nation. So you guys stay tuned. Guys, I'm running a Newport Vessels 62 pound trolling motor on my 11.5 Outlaw kayak. And the way I control the power on that is with a custom built PWM built by myself right here on the bed of my pickup. So I'm gonna take you guys through that today. Uh, I will drop all of the links for this uh, PWM control in the bottom description here. If you guys ever have any questions, I'm always available to answer questions. I was presented with a problem how to make this thing work, and this is the solution, guys. So I started out with a, uh, a box. I bought every bit of this stuff off of Amazon. I put it in a, in a waterproof electrical box. I've got an intake fan and an outtake fan so I can circulate air through that PWM when it's running. Uh, right here on the front, I have a voltmeter and uh, that tells me what kind of uh, battery uh, storage I have. Also, uh, the pedometer that, that you control the PWM with, it's mounted right here on the front. And then I have a little switch here for forward and reverse, but I'll show you guys the inner workings of this right now. It's kind of a mess in there. I could have probably done a little better job keeping everything straight, but this is my PWM. It's a 100 amp PWM. And you can see I've got all my controls and everything all wired up in there. Um, I have a couple of micro fans. Like I said, I've got an intake and an outtake fan. It's, it's pretty simple. It's, uh, it's not rocket science. Uh, a paramedic can do it. But uh, the way I mount this to my boat is I have a, uh, a one inch, B is in Bravo, ball mount for a ram arm. I use a medium ram arm, and I have this same thing mounted to the side of my kayak, so it's permanently mounted. I can take this off and on with ease. It takes literally 10 seconds to take it off and on. And I use these, uh, these waterproof trolling motor plugs. I also I got them off of Amazon. And I use six gauge wire because I just, I don't want it to get hot because I'm traveling about, oh, I think it's about six or six feet or so back to my, my trolling motor. So I wanted to have plenty of gauge wire uh, for the amperage and the volts and everything that I've got moving through that wire. I've never had a problem with it overheating. Now I used a red plug to go to my battery and a blue plug to go to my motor just simply to keep that straight because if you hook this red side up to your motor and this blue side up to your battery, well, you're gonna be spending about another 60 bucks with Amazon to get you a new PWM because that pulse width modulator, when it gets hooked up backwards, she's cooked. It's no good and there's no refund on electronics. So just always pay attention that you do that. Guys, if you have any questions on this, on how to do it, if you need me to get on the telephone and walk you through it, I don't mind one bit. My number is 903-268-2198, and I'd love to talk with you about how to make this PWM, how I built my steering system for my kayak, a multitude of modifications that I've done right here at home on my kayak. I'd be more than glad to discuss that with you guys. Till next time, I'm John with Greenfish Nation. Don't forget to drop us a like and a subscribe if you appreciate and can use this information. Leave us a comment. If you have any questions about anything, I'm sure we can either already have a solution for it or we can come up with one, guys. Till next time, tight lines, and God bless each and every one of you.